प्रेज बी टू जीजस क्राइस्ट डियर चिल्ड्रेन हेलो डियर चिल्ड्रेन जीजस लव चिल्ड्रेन एंड ही लाइक्स टू प्ले विथ यू टू लिसन टू यू डिट यू नो दैट जीजस यूज टू ऑलवेज कॉल चिल्ड्रेन टू कम क्लोज टू हिम दिस होल ईयर we are going to learn about the beautiful creation of god the beautiful world around us today we are going to learn something very exciting we are going to learn about god with us in chapter 7 First of all let us begin our class with a small prayer because prayer is like talking to god we are inviting god to come to us during this class and asking him for his blessings children now join your hands and repeat after me oh god almighty You are ever so wonderful and your creation is marvelous. We love you and we want to thank you for protecting us always. Amen. Let us now recap what we learned in our previous class. Shall we We learned that we need to praise God at all times for everything he provides us with. We must praise him in the morning as we get up, in the evening and also at night before we go to sleep. We must praise God for all the graces and gifts he gives us he protects and provides for us in various ways we also joined the choirs of angels and sang praise to god while singing the song hallelujah we heard a story about daniel whom god saved from the lions then children I hope you all are enjoying learning about God's creation and the beautiful things that he has created for you. Isn't it? Today we will learn something very very interesting. We will learn that God became one among us. Yes children. God became one among us. I know you may be wondering how can God become one among us? You know children that God loves us and he protects us. Now he felt that he wants to love us more. So he wished to be with us. that is why he sent his own son to us to be with us his son's name is jesus so jesus is the son of god who became man jesus took a human form just like you and me have you seen the cute face of baby jesus in the manger or of the infant jesus statues so cute baby jesus is just like you all children are cute okay children are you all excited to listen to a story the story is about the birth of jesus children tell me what is so special about christmas on christmas day We celebrate the birthday of Jesus. We also decorate the Christmas tree. We get lots of goody goody things. We cut the cake and have lots of fun with our friends. Isn't it? But 
The main thing about Christmas is that Jesus was born on that day. It's his birthday. Now, let's listen carefully. Long time ago, in a place called Nazareth, there lived a young Jewish woman whose name was Mary. Mary was very obedient to her parents and also loved God very much. She was kind and helpful to everyone and everyone liked her. In that town, there lived a good and honest man named Joseph and Mary was going to get married to Joseph soon. Mary and Joseph were really good people and they always did what God wanted them to do. Now children, do you know what happened one day with Mary? One day, an angel came to Mary and told her that she was going to have a baby. The angel said she should name the baby Jesus. The baby would be the son of God and the baby will be the savior of this world. All this happened when Mary and Joseph were in Nazareth. You know children, during that time, the king of the Roman Empire was Caesar. Yes, Caesar was the king of the Roman Empire. And he commanded that all the people go to their hometown to be counted. Since Joseph was from Bethlehem, Joseph and Mary left Nazareth and traveled to Bethlehem to obey the law put forward by the king. Now Bethlehem was very crowded and there was no place for Mary and Joseph in the inn. So Mary and Joseph spent the night in a place where animals were kept. They found a quiet stable with clean straw. It was time for the baby to be born. That night, baby Jesus was born in Bethlehem. Mary wrapped Jesus in pieces of cloth and placed him in a manger. Do you know children what a manger is? A manger is a feeding trough or vessel for animals. Now Mary thought of all that had happened. She was happy. She knew Jesus God's promised one had come. Look, there was something in the sky as well. Do you know what that was? It was a new star that appeared in the sky. Also, in the nearby fields, there were shepherds who were taking care of their sheep. Angels came and told the shepherds that the Savior had been born. It was in the silence of the night that the shepherds heard melodious sweet songs of angels singing, celebrating Jesus' birth. On hearing this, the shepherds went to find and worship baby Jesus. You know children who also saw the new star? Far away, there were three wise men who saw the new star. They knew it was a sign that the Savior had been born. They followed the star until they found Jesus. They gave him presents and worshipped him. 
Amazing, isn't it? Jesus, our Lord and Savior, was born on Christmas Day and He came to be with us. Children, what does this story tell us? Yes, correct. It tells us that at Christmas, we celebrate the birth of Jesus Christ. And we should be obedient like Mary and Joseph by doing what God wants us to do. We saw how the angels appear to the shepherds and told them about the birth of Jesus. We can be like angels by telling others the real story of Christmas. Will you do that children? You should also be like Jesus by following his example. Now, let us learn a Bible verse for the day. To you is born this day in the city of David, a Savior who is the Messiah, the Lord. From Gospel of Luke chapter 2 verse 11. Now it's song time. Today we will learn a song on the birth of Jesus. The song is called, O Come All Ye Faithful. Are you ready children? Let's begin. O come all ye faithful, joyful and triumphant. O come ye, O come ye to Bethlehem. Come and behold him, join the king of angels. O come let us adore him. O come, let us adore Him. O come, let us adore Him. Cry the Lord. Very good, children. Now it's activity time. Let's do a small activity for this week. For this week's activity, let's take a brown colored craft paper. Cut it in V-shape as shown in the picture. Take two ice cream steaks and stick it in V-shape. Take some straws and stick it behind the V-shaped craft paper. Make a smiley face of baby Jesus and stick it behind. Tie a string at the top of the ice cream sticks as shown in the picture and then you can write on top or bottom of the craft paper Oh baby Jesus, I love you. Take a pic of this chart and send it to your teacher before the next class. I am sure you will enjoy doing this activity. That brings us to the end of this class. Now, let us conclude today's class with a small prayer. O oh Jesus, the Son of God, we praise you along with the angels of heaven. Amen. So dear children, we will meet again next week to learn the remaining part of this chapter. Till then, keep smiling because God loves you and protects you. See you next week, dear children. Praise be to Jesus Christ.